Hello again, my friends. Punk here from North 44. Spring is actually happening for once here in Maine, so come along with us and do some farm prep. But first, let's go check on the brooding turkeys. I saw the mama turkeys go into the barn. I want to see if they're sitting on their appropriate nests. Seven, are you standing guard for your mom and grandma? Ow, son of a bitch. What the? Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Both you guys in that spot. Who's, who's doing these? Look at all of these! Poppy, come on! Look. Look. Nine million other eggs. Oh, now you can scoot over. There you go. Clean house. Fix it up. Come on! Bastard. Hey, you can't come in here. It's a garden. Well, that's not the point. These are the old Brussels sprout stalks from last season. And usually a little easier to wait until the following spring to pull them out because a lot of the root system has disintegrated over the winter. Come on. Oh, I hate you. But man, some of these are still in there. This weather is just absolutely insane. It's April 9th. We're typically still under snow, or if the snow is melted, more storms happen. And they don't really stick around long, but they happen. And uh, we're going for it. We're uh, gonna get the first garden all set up to plant. Got a lot of cool season stuff to put in that one. I don't see any reason why I can't get lettuce in. Oh man, looking for my lettuce fabric. It's all pre-done, same one as last year, but watch, it's gonna be at the bottom. Sorry. You okay? None of these are labeled. None of these are labeled. I'm gonna have to unroll every single one of these to find out what the f it is. Story of my life. So this is plot one at about 4,300 square feet. Here, Matt is working in what was regrown of the fall cover crop with our 1970 Gravely. We till as minimally as possible to maintain soil structure. One pass to turn under the cover crop and any other amendments we added, and then one to form the row. That's it. Always get your soil tested before adding amendments so you know for certain exactly what your soil needs or doesn't need. Four days later. Okay. And I'm dragging ass today. Oh, look who's waiting for me. prep done this week. Got some lettuce and some romaine in. Started forming some beet rows, but it's gonna snow a few inches tomorrow, so we're gonna hold off on seeding anything. We only have peas in so far, and neither the peas nor the lettuce are gonna give a shit about a couple inches of wet snow. They'll be fine. But before everything gets all soaked again, we gotta go do more prep. So, are you coming? Oh. Watch the camera. 
Oh, is this seat wet? Son of a Don't you wonder how you got stuck in this loop? Working for the paycheck that you used to buy the suit. You say, well, I just got paid and my money's all gone. So correct tonight, I'm buying liquid true. So here we are at plot two. And we got the drip irrigation lines run. We got the bed forms done. This is for cabbage. And I might be able to cram a couple rows of broccoli in here. And there's peas planted all along the fences under there. Um, so yeah, I'd love to finish getting this set up before everything gets soaked again. So by now you've probably noticed radar in every single shot. He's a year and a half old mutt who identifies primarily as an Australian cattle dog. We got him as a rescue pup at eight weeks old from Great Dog Rescue of New England. We've had loyal dogs before, but this guy takes loyalty to a whole new level. done. Take you out of the tripod here. Let's take a walk around the other side and check out the, the trunk for the drip line. So yeah, about two solid days of prep. But look how nice we've set up our cabbage to succeed this season. It's all uh, set it and forget it now. Well, minus patrolling for bugs and everything. But Here's the, the drip trunk, all these lines hook into it like a T all the way down. And then what we do is we catch whatever rain we get at the house. See the house way back there? Got a metal roof, metal roof uh, made possible by a grant from the Mom and Dad Foundation, which we're forever grateful for. But we'll catch the water from that roof and then we'll trailer it out here with the four wheeler and then we use a transfer pump to pump the water from the tank on the trailer into the tank on the tower. And then we run a line from the tower. And then it hooks up into this end and just let her fly. I need as many plots as possible to be on autopilot like that because there's tons of stuff that we direct seed. Uh, like beets and carrots and radishes and all that little stuff that can't be planted under weed fabric. Um, so I'll have my hands full weed and all that. So the more that I can set up that way, the more time I'll have for weeding the other things. These are some of the other gardens in waiting. Um, so yeah, there's currently seven more to deal with being that that one's now all set and the garlic's on autopilot. But yeah. Untouched so far. A lot of work to do. I know there were times when I just wasn't there 
You're